Good day students, I'm Engineer Augusto Frase. In behalf of my co-teachers in uh, Engineering Economy, I will be discussing the different methods used in any Engineering Economic Study. So, the use of this Engineering Economic Study is to determine which among the alternatives is the most viable for a specific project and which of these alternatives will give the company or the agency the most uh, uh, revenue or the greatest profit. So there are actually five and we'll be discussing them one by one. All right, the first in all list is the present work analysis. So present work is uh, defined as the current work of a future sum of money. So this future sum are the future cash flows which is discounted at a discount rate. So the equation that we're going to use in the present work will be PW is equal to F 1 plus I raised to negative uh, N. F here is the future value of money, I here is the interest rate, and N is the compounding period. Now you can use this formula uh, in getting the present worth of a future uh, amount of money if it's, it is a single payment. Uh, the second equation is used when you have a series of payment as A. <clears throat> this is done or the payment is done every year. So to speed up the calculation, this uh, equation uh, summarizes or uh, uh, adds all the series of payment every year. And uh, using this uh, one equation, we can... Uh, uh, determine the present worth of the recurring payment. A here is the annual uh, annual cost or uh, annual uh, uh, payment done and determine its uh, present worth uh, just multiply it uh, with this uh, factor. Now the net present uh, worth. Uh, the net present worth is the sum of the present values of incoming and outgoing cash flows over a set period of time. Uh, I'll just explain what is incoming and outgoing uh, cash flows. Incoming cash flows are actually revenues or gain of the company. Examples of incoming uh, uh, cash flows are the salvage value, uh, the income per year, uh, and then for outgoing cash flows, these are the expenses. Example, the initial cost, the operation cost, upgrading cost, and so on. So the net present uh, word is actually uh, subtracting the uh, uh, present word of all inflows and the present word of all outflows. Okay, for our first example in the present word analysis, uh, the MTWD will be uh, trying to decide or is trying to decide whether to use a 215 mm diameter pipe or a 300 mm diameter pipe. Okay, so these are the two alternatives 250 and 300. Uh, both have different costs. Uh, the discount rate is 10% uh, per year and then uh, the project will last for 30 years. This is the lifespan of the project. Okay, first step is uh, to determine uh, or to draw the cash flow of each uh, uh, alternative. In drawing the cash flow diagram, uh, all, uh, all, uh, all arrows pointing downward are considered expenses or outgoing cash flows and all uh, arrows pointing upward is considered as revenue or incoming cash flows. So for the 250 mm pipe, let's determine what are the incoming and outgoing cash flows. Uh, the duration of the project will be 30 years. So there will be uh, cash flows for uh, N is equal to 30. First cash flow is actually the initial cost, 11,340,000. Okay. Second is uh, here, the pumping costs for the operating uh, Operating cost of the 250 mm line. Uh, uh, it was mentioned in the problem that the 
pumping cost for the 250mm pipe is 162,000 more per year than the 300mm line. So the pumping cost here will be, it was not definite in the problem, what is specifically the pumping cost of the 300mm line. So this will be our baseline, our reference. So sabi niya mas malaki ng 162 yung sa 250. So this will be 162,000. Okay, for a uniform series of uh, series, the present work is given by this formula. The okay, present work will be 8 million, okay, the initial cost, the initial cost, 8,370,000, and then, minus yan, uh, because it is actually uh, uh, outgoing, so lahat ng uh, pababang araw, ang sign convention natin is negative. Uh, second, is the pumping cost, which is also uh, an outgoing uh, cash flow. So, it is also negative. Uh, a here, just substitute A here. So, present worth will be 8,370,000. Okay, substitute 162 dito sa A. So, 162,000. So, 1 plus, uh, the interest rate is 0.10, uh, 10%, which is 0.10, and compounding period is 30 Okay, so present worth now will be 8,370,000 and then uh, the result of this one, so if you're going to get the present worth of this recurring payment, which is 162 every year for 30 years, the uh, present worth of, uh, of that is 1,527,160, okay, combining the two, the present worth will be 9 million. 897,160.1 So the present word of using the 215M5 will be this value. Second, for the 300MM5, the cash flow will be uh, first is the duration, this is 30 years also. The initial cost is 11,340,000. Now, what will be the pumping cost? Okay, if you go back to 250mm5, uh, based from this statement, ang sabi kasi is 162, mas malaki ng 162,000 yung pumping cost ng 250. Pero wala namang binigay na pumping cost ng 300. Kaya ginawa nating baseline kanina to. O ginawa nating reference. So what is then the pumping cost of the 300mm line? It will be, Zero. Okay? Kasi yun yung ginawa nating reference. So, the present worth niya nung uh, cash flows dito sa 300mm5 will be the initial cost and then yung amount nung recurring payment. Kaya lang, zero lang din yan. So, sulat lang natin yung formula. So, zero to. So, zero multiplied by this quantity will be zero. So, the present worth of using the 300mm5 will be 11,340,000. Negative. So, the negative sign here indicates that this 11 million is an outgoing cash flow or expenses. Ganun din dito expenses yan. Now, we're going to decide which of these two alternatives we're going to use in the project. Is it the 250 or the 300mm? So, disregard first uh, the negative sign. So, just look at the numerical values of the 250mm and 300mm5. So, let's say you're going to fund the project and you're going to pay it now. Okay? So, you're going to uh, fund the project and at this time, babayaran mo na yung contractor or babayaran mo na yung project. Now, between the two, ano yung pipiliin mo? So as a financer, of course I will go. I will go with the smaller present worth. So in a present worth analysis, uh, the most viable project, even though you don't have revenue, in case of uh, public projects, we're going to choose which of the alternative will give you the smallest present worth. Okay, regardless of the sign. 
So, <clears throat> between the two, 250 and 300 mm line, uh, the 250 mm line, uh, 250 mm diameter pipe has a uh, ini uh, lower initial cost or initial present rate. So, we're going to choose the 250 mm line for this project. 